Man, what a beautiful sight. <laughs> oh. Man, many, many familiar faces. And the beauty of this morning is there's a lot of faces out here that are not familiar to me. Hello, John. Hey. So I appreciate all of you being here. Walter, good to see you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's a pleasure for me to have the opportunity to introduce, to welcome, and to endorse the candidacy of And there's more to come. More to come, gang. And endorse the candidacy of the man that I think should be and will be the next president of the United States. Yes. But, but let me say to you, let me say to you that these are difficult times, but we have with us a very special man. Uh, I've been around a long time and I've seen a lot of political candidates come and go. And, <laughs> thank you. And, 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 and I would say I have not seen since John F. Kennedy in 1960, a person who has the ability to bring together, to excite, and to inspire the people of America like Barack Obama. Yeah, you're right. And that's what it's going to take, the enthusiasm that this man has generated and can generate. And I would say to you that he is the custodian of the hopes and the dreams of millions and millions of Americans throughout this great land to bring about change, needed change. Change, change in our economy, change in the fiscal insanity that's taking place in Washington, D.C. And change in that tragic war in Iraq. A war A war that takes too many, it costs us too many lives. A war that costs us too much. And for what reason? A, a war that no one can justify. Uh, we got into it with deceit. And this is a man that can bring an end to that, in my opinion. <laughs> 